Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Now, when we left off, we had finally unlocked the deck builder, and so we now have some extra encounters to experience, as well as some additional equipment. Now, as you may have seen last time, we do have Desperate Measures, which will be something I'm very interested in acquiring, so let's get going. Save decks and begin game? Ooh, yes, this is a new feature by the looks of things. Yes, let us save that. We are going to be fighting the Queen of Dust. She is the enemy with the Ballista, I believe. Oh my. Yes, we have money bags. Rockfall to worry about as well. And, whoa, we have a couple of good fortune cards there. And two shop cards as well. So, let's hopefully be able to acquire the gold before we stumble upon the shops. That would probably be the best idea. But for now, I'm just hoping to survive the first few cards. That's all I can say, really. So, let's head on. Oh, okay, goblins. That's not too bad, actually. Aha, yes. Let's do this. Oh, and it does appear to be this map. I like this map a lot. It's a lot better than the... Dock, I think it is. The Smuggler's Cave. Could I call it a Smuggler's Cave, perhaps? But yes, maybe. Well, never mind. We are just going to head on here and take these guys out. Thank goodness this is a very small map as well, because we can actually do a rather considerable amount of damage to them with our wonderful dashing abilities. Of course, I'm going to try and pick up all this gold that they drop. It is only one gold, but I think it could make a difference in the long run. And did we really just gain some food there? I think we gained some food. Wow, something was going on there. I think they're actually able to drop food this time. Yes, it does appear that is the case. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, it's very much worth it now to actually fight goblins. As you can see, we have 11 food. And 13 food now. And we also have 24 gold. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, goblins are pretty overpowered because you have no opportunity to die. So, that's very nice. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have said die in that sentence. That probably would have been a good idea. Well, nevertheless, we do have the Crucible, and we are going to be getting a reward token, hopefully. The town of Stiegel sits upon the only safe crossing of the River Ernst. However, the only adventurers allowed to pass are the ones who pass through the Crucible. We're going to be, <laughs> well, we could attempt to bribe the mayor, but I do believe entering the Crucible is going to be the best idea, so let's head in. Aha, choose your opponent wisely. We're going to choose... Hmm, this is where it could be a little deceiving. If we choose the Skull card, then maybe they will discard the Skull card and we'll get to fight against bandits, which I would like to do because three of bandits and, well, two of bandits, I suppose, aren't too bad, but yeah, okay, we'll select the Skulls and if we do fight the Skulls, then that's alright as well. Oh, yes, it does appear as though they're not going to give us any tricks here, so we are just going to be fighting some skeletons, and I do believe we're fighting two. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's be cautious of their shields now, shall we? Ow, yes. Why did that happen? Goodness me. No, no. Okay. Oh my. Okay, come on. Let's do this a little bit better now, shall we? Okay, so once their shields are gone, I have a feeling that these skeletons are a lot easier than they were previously. As you may have seen just there, we took them out very quickly indeed, whereas before, we had quite some issues with them, mainly because they blocked a lot in quick succession. So, okay. Well, we're going to be choosing the three of us this time. I like fighting bandits a lot more than I like fighting skeletons, that's for sure. Oh, Well, let's hope that they... Yeah, they don't know how to throw knives yet, do they? Or did they learn that last time around? I'm not entirely sure. I think after the Queen of Dust, they probably learned that ability. And really, I actually dodged that. No! How dare you! Well, we have a lot of food, so I suppose I really don't have to worry too much about our health at this time. But if we come across any difficult encounters and we end up losing 50% of our HP or something along those lines, then we may be in some dire straits right there. But thankfully enough, we were able to take those out with only one hit sustained, I think. And we're just going to be oh, drawing two monster... Four of dust? Really? Oh my. Okay, so we still have a rusty axe bearer this in mind, and we don't have a shield either. Oh no. Okay. 
Let's just hope the reward token is worth it. Oh no, there's too many of them. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna try to use our fluidity to, oh yes, interrupt them before they're able to strike us. Ow, that was not too successful, unfortunately enough. Okay, come on. Oh yes, that's much, ah, <laughs> I was about to say much better, but no. Okay, well, we're not actually sustaining fatal damage just yet. No, that's fine. Okay, so we still have 67, and we have a lot of food, so I think we're doing all right. Although, we still have a rusty axe. Let's hope. There we are. We are going to be getting this token. That is good. And I wonder what that is actually going to give us. So, let's just head on, and... Ah. I'm not a big fan of Rockfall. I am pretty terrible at it. I do believe we need to get... I think we need to get the failure card or something, because I do believe in the previous version of Hand of Fate, I was able to get success, and it didn't give us the reward token, so I'm not entirely sure whether they've changed that. Although, it does appear as though success is the one we want to go for, because there is only one success available. I think this is the one. Nope. Ah, well, it's only normal failure at least. Okay. Well, we're losing quite a lot of HP, but I don't think we need to worry too much. Ah, no! We're losing... Oh my goodness. Okay, well, they've made the failure cards a lot more brutal, that is for sure. Well, at least we know that. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, let's just head onward, and we'll see what we can do in the next level. Let's hope that we actually draw some equipment soon. Oh. That's not good. I am actually pained. I'm physically pained by this card. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's try and track this a little bit better this time around. I think it's this one? It's either this one or this one, I think. Which one is it going to be? Is it going to be in the same place as it was last time? Well, let's try out this. Ah, it was going to be in the same place it was. Okay, well, let's hope it doesn't kill me with these pain cards. Okay, it's not killing me, thank goodness. Yeah, it's just when you think it's over, they're going to steal three food. Oh my. We only have one food remaining. This is probably one of the worst runs I've ever had. And that's saying something, considering I haven't actually had... Oh, thank goodness, I haven't actually had the greatest of luck. But thankfully, we can ask... The Maiden for some food. So, let's hope that she gives us... Ah, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But we'll just have to head on and we have a shop. But this isn't going to give us anything because we don't have any items to sell. Because as you may see here, we have, what, the Rusty Axe, Light Armor. And we do have Money Bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold you possess. But that really doesn't help us now, does it? Because we don't have any money. So, okay. Well... We are out of food. We're going to start losing health on every turn now. Now, starvation begins. And, yes, as you may have heard, the narrator said, starvation begins. So this is going to be rather painful, to say the least. We are only against three bandits here, so I suppose that is not all bad. It's not like we're fighting lava golems, if you remember those guys. Oh, no. Okay, come on, let's do this. Don't take any damage now. Okay, that is okay, that's fine. And, oh, he's still getting up, okay. And there it is, one last hit. Okay, so please give me some food. Mm, nope, no food from that fellow. Cave rescue? Maybe we'll be lucky here? <laughs> oh no. Well, I suppose the best thing that we have actually acquired so far is the Crucible token, so I suppose it's not the worst thing, but yes, it does appear as though we are going to be fighting the Jack of Dust with 37 HP. Hmm. Okay. Well, that teaches us to go with our hunch, doesn't it? Our hunch was to take the other success card where it was previously, but I decided, well, it can't be in the same place, can it? But no, it definitely was. So let's just try to interrupt these guys as best we can. No. Okay. Well, 
we're going to be playing this a little smarter now. So that means, of course, rolling away as soon as one of them tries to attack us, instead of trying to interrupt them, because you're never going to interrupt all of them, at least. And yes, I was saying, yeah, what was I saying there? Yes. Okay, let's try to make it a little better, shall we? Uh, okay, come on, we can do this. These are only bandits. We do have a rusty axe, though, so we do need to be a little cautious. I'm just trying to get as much damage out as I can in a short space of time, because the longer we fight these guys, yes, the more chance we have of taking damage. Oh, no. Okay. Come on, let's try to get through these guys. I've already taken out one of them, which I suppose is good. I would like to take out the Jack of Dust as quickly as possible, but at the moment he does seem to be a little more resilient than I would like him to be. Okay. Oh, we're getting the upper hand here. This is good. No, oh, that's an unblockable attack. Yes, I need to remember that he has unblockable attacks. And thank you very much, we have 10 HP. And I'm not sure whether this gives me anything. Does this give me anything? Yes! It gives us three gain cards. That is exactly what we need right now. Okay, we need some equipment. That's not going to help us out yet. Ten gold? I don't need gold. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, I actually thought I was dead there because max health in the previous version didn't give us any current HP. But now it does. So. Ah. Okay, Heroes Remains. That's going to give us Frostfang, isn't it? Okay, we're going to take it. Yes. Equipment with this trait is imbued with glacial power. Lizard men are especially susceptible to them. And you can also finish enemies. Aim toward a downed foe and press left trigger plus the X button simultaneously to perform a finisher. Okay, so that's great. They've actually added in the tutorial for this, which is something I didn't know how to do before. So, yeah, let's equip this. We are definitely going to equip this. And we have Emperor's Jewel, which I'm... Hmm... I'm not going to equip it, because I do believe Fortitude's Breath at the moment, considering every third encounter is not consuming food, I think that is probably going to be better than Emperor's Jewel at the moment, so let's just leave that. And it does appear as though we have Heavy Burden here, which is renamed for whatever reason. But nevertheless, Hero's Return is over this next area here. I think we're actually going to have to give this to them, because they'll give me a blessing, I believe. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to give Frostfang and everything back. So, give back shield. Yes. Okay, please give me something amazing. Okay, that's not too amazing. Will of the Gods? Oh. I think I'm dead, actually. Am I dead? I'm dead by starvation, I think. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, we died from starvation, but I suppose it's not all bad because we do have a couple of tokens here, and we can probably improve our deck rather considerably as a result. As you see here, we have Prince of Shadows and a Wife's Fury, so that would be nice. We can gain some tokens from there. And what else do we get over here? Aha, we get Charity. Aha, okay, so we yeah rescued the Maiden from the Cave of Pirates. We received some Charity there. And then what do we get from this? Aha, Dark Ritual! Aha, okay. Well, yes, the bony grip of starvation takes hold. That's a little unfortunate, isn't it? So, we're going to be starting again. We're going to be heading over to the deck builder, and we'll see what kind of deck we can actually construct this time around. I'm not entirely sure why I had such difficulty taking out these enemies here, but I suppose that's just how things are. Sometimes you do get the luck of the draw. As well as, of course, running into failure cards every which way. It's probably not the best idea. So let's remove this. And we'll get a Wife's Fury. And we'll also remove the Crucible. And we'll get Dark Ritual and Charity. Well, he's going to ask us for gold, isn't he? So I'm not entirely sure whether we can even give him any at this point. Okay, well, Twisted Canyon. I would love to get rid of Rockfall at the moment, but... 
That is not within our control, unfortunately. So let's just go for Prince of Shadows, and then we'll head on with that. Yes, there we go. Okay, start the game, and let's get going, shall we?